Oh, people still popping in here. Still hey, popping Dr. in. Hey, Dr. fans. <laughs> All righty. Well, hello, everybody. We're back again with our Residence Life Speaker Series. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Justin Brown. I'm here with my co-host. Leah Paulson. And today we have the very funny, amazing, and talented Kate Flannery with us. As you know, she's an American actress, best known for her work throughout television. She's been on multiple different things, which we'll talk about here in a second. But she played Meredith Palmer on the NBC series, hit series, The Office. And she is the voice role of Carol in the animated series, OK, KO. Let's be heroes. And most importantly, she was born in Philadelphia. So everybody wave, wave and welcome to Kate Flannery. My sister graduated from Westchester. Uh, all right, so let's do, let's try this. Who's up? Let's see if they Rams say it. Up. Rams up. There we go. So, <laughs> hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, as well as can be expected. I mean, I haven't been to a bar in like six weeks. <laughs> so how are you hanging in there? Because most of these students are uh, under 21, so they haven't been to a bar in six weeks either. I'm sure they've never been to a bar. Never. No, no. <laughs> but these are t it's tough times, you guys. You know, I mean, I was just thinking, gosh, I mean, uh, we all got yanked out of the real world. And, and here you are, probably with your parents and probably scratching your head like, how did I get here? Yeah, so, you know, you know, you're you're not alone. I mean, you may not see anybody, but you're still not alone. And uh, you know, we're all gonna get through this. We're all gonna get through this. Right, 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 right. We got the Walsh family in here watching too, so we know that people are watching with their families. No, Absolutely. I, I'll keep it clean then. No, 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 no. You should be <laughs> fine. So, you have any funny quarantine stories? Like anything you've been up to? Anything you've tried new? Well, I feel like I've seen the office folks a lot because we've done a bunch of charity Zoom. So I feel like it's been like the conference, the conference room, but <laughs> with our computers, it's it's kind of hilarious. And you know, I mean, with Creed and with Brian who plays Kevin with Oscar. I mean, um, yeah, there's been a few like holy. I mean, it's uh, it's just we're all in the same room virtually now. Right, 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 right. So what's going to happen is we're going to ask the students to post their questions here in the chat. So if you have a question for Kate, go ahead and post it here in the chat. And then we're going to ask you and those who are watching on Facebook as well. If you have a question, go ahead and answer it for us. And we'll go ahead or go ahead and ask it and we'll shoot it to Kate here in a second. So Kate, you've been on a lot of things since the office. I think I also saw you on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. So talk to us about <laughs> what that transition looks over because you're just like on the funniest shows ever. There's somewhere that you're around it. Well, I, you know, the great thing about The Office is that it, there's such goodwill for the show still, obviously, I mean, it's such a, uh, it's, it, there's so much respect for it. So I feel like it's allowed me to be invited to some really great shows. And I'm Brooklyn Nine-Nine, we actually have a, same, a few of the same writers from The Office. Uh, and then I, I mean, I just did like a Young Sheldon and um, a couple episodes of Another Period on, on uh, Comedy Central. And it's just, you know, it's, it's nice to get to visit some fun shows, you know, it's, it's a joy and you know, uh, it's, it, this is the thing. It's so weird to get a show that lasts nine seasons. So yeah. I feel like, you know, it's all gravy after this. I'm, I'm just happy to be invited. Okay. All right. Any future projects or anything that we're going to be seeing you on? Uh, not that I can discuss right now. Okay. Um, but, you know, I do tour with Jane Lynch and we're actually, we're supposed to come to Philadelphia. Jane Lynch and I did a, um, a Christmas album a couple years ago and we've been doing these Christmas tours um, and we're, so we're technically supposed to be in Philly on December 5th, uh, at the city winery. We'll see. Oh, so we, oh, so we can literally time. make this visit happen. Cause you're from Philadelphia. We will, we will come and pick you up. All right. And take you where you need to go. Should we have our own campus, everybody? Oh, we're getting a lot of thumbs up. We're getting a lot of them. All right. So <laughs> some of our, you No, I'm just kidding. They're right, 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 like, right. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Right. Okay. So we got uh, some questions coming in. So our first one's from Mary Nottingham. Mary, go ahead. How did you like working with Steve? He's the greatest. Okay. I knew Steve from Chicago because I went after uh, I graduated from University of Arts in Philadelphia. And I, my aunt sent me a ticket to check out Second City. She lived in Chicago and to stay with her. And so I ended up taking class there and then I worked in the touring company. So I knew Steve uh, a long time ago. So it was kind of, it was, he's the greatest. I mean, he's always, always the hardest working person. And I, I, I feel like we were so lucky because he uh, filmed um, uh, 40 year old virgin the same year he did the pilot for the office. So when we got picked up, it was coming out. So I feel like second season was totally all about the 40 year old virgin. 
So uh, yeah, he's he's the greatest. He's the most polite. He's the most together. He doesn't act like a douchebag ever. <laughs> so what else can act like a douchebag? Because if you're the number one on the call sheet, like if you're the biggest star on the list, like if you don't act out, no one else can. Sometimes actors out act out, which is kind of drag. So yeah, he's thank God. I mean, really, the world's a better place with Steve Carell in it. Cool. Yeah. Good question. <laughs> Awesome. So next we have Shayna. So go ahead, Shayna. Hi. Um, Shana? I you on Dancing with the Stars. You <laughs> great. I love Thank you so much. <laughs> um, but what was it like? Uh, like love Dr. Poshkoff. Here's my, this is my. So oh, great. Love it. <laughs> what was your, what was it like being on Dancing with the Stars and it being so different from what you are doing and in life really <laughs> but it was really hard it was really hard i i knew it was going to be hard but i i didn't know i mean the good news bad news was that i was actually doing well which meant that every week was harder and harder and harder because you know a lot of people didn't realize like i'm 55 so i was the oldest contestant for most of the season and i was definitely the oldest woman the whole time right so every once in a while i'd get a high score uh you know a couple weeks in a row i got a high score and then i felt like some of the women in the ladies room were like giving me shade. I'm like, just work harder. You're 20. What's wrong with you? Like, don't give me a hard time. But it was, it was really the best teacher uh, student relationship I ever had. Cause uh, literally I was dancing with Pasha Pashkov, who is he and his wife, they're seven time national champs and they're world champs. So to be dancing with the best dancer, literally in the country is like, it's, I had no business, but that's how the show works. So I, I, I'm, I felt super lucky. And then I got to do a lot of the tour um, I, I was the, I got to do more of the tour than any of the other celebs. I got 54 shows, but we only got to do 43 of my 54. So that's okay. But it was great. It was a really great experience. And as an artist, like it's so rare, we all get pigeonholed. And once you get successful at something and like, usually you just get to be funny forever and that's not a bad thing, but I'm just lucky that I got asked to dance and, and that, um, it became like this, you know, amazing internal experience and. Oh, I know, I just there's so much joy in dancing. Yeah, and I just, I just want to tell everybody to move. Like, it actually makes you physically, it makes you feel better. It's like, it's better than drugs, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Megan Winterbottom, go ahead. Hi, um, I was wondering when you were filming The Office, what was your favorite scene you got to film? Um, oh my God, it's so hard to pick one, but I will say, uh, in Rock and Christmas, there's a scene where Michael drags Meredith into rehab. And basically, that was not supposed to be, we weren't really supposed to talk because it wasn't scripted. And we were very scripted on the show. I mean, every once in a while we got to improvise. People think it was all improvised. No, no, no. The writers were so great. So that was the one time that I felt like we just had this time to just improvise the whole time, the whole chase scene. And I didn't know if they were actually going to use our voices because there may have been a voiceover or just as a montage. So I was so proud that they actually used what we improvised. So, and also improvising with Steve is like the dream. I mean, he's like a master class every time I worked with him. He's the greatest. So yeah, I have to say that, yeah. That and, and maybe uh, walk a shame with uh, Will Ferrell and, and uh, Steve. <laughs> when Meredith oh. gets presented with her Dundee uh, nomination at her crappy house. <laughs> so I, I do full-time diversity training. So I go and help people get along and I have this activity and it's called diversity charades. And let me tell you, everybody's like, oh, this is just like the office. I'm like, no, 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 no. There's some learning components to this. No, <laughs> you're supposed to see what inclusion and diversity is about. So. So oh, great. Yeah. yeah, I was, I was Brazil. Meredith was Brazil, which is <laughs> hilarious. Such a great writing. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. So um, Marielle, go ahead and ask your question. Hi, Kate. I was just wondering, um, when you started filming The Office, were you expecting it to ultimately become as successful as it, as it has? I was not. I actually kept my restaurant job during the first season because I didn't know if we were going to get picked up. I was nervous. And also because the British show was such a hit at, and at that time, any time American producers tried to do a British show, it never worked. So I thought, here we go again. It's going to be another stink bomb. <laughs> but yeah, I, and then somewhere between season one and two, when we got picked up, I was like, oh, this could be a thing, you know, and then Steve's success with 40 year old virgin. I was like, hmm, I don't know this. Maybe, maybe this will work. So yeah, I, I feel super lucky. It was, it's really been an interesting unfolding. 
Oh, it will always be one of my favorite shows of all time. <laughs> um, so next we have Emma. Go ahead, Emma. Hi. Hey, Emma. Um, my mom and I just restarted the whole season. We're on season six, or the whole series. We're doing pretty nice. Um, my question is, who did you enjoy working with most, and what is your favorite memory? Um, oh, my gosh. It's so hard to pick one person, because um, I loved working with with Rain, I, I, he was, I mean, the thing about Rain is that I always felt like he was more like Dwight than most other people were like their characters and in a good way. Um, and I felt like, um, I don't know, he was very generous. And I always felt like there was some extra annoying thing about our characters together that really worked for me. I don't know. <laughs> um, but, you know, I have such great memories, you know, when uh, Michael's last Dundee's when when um, Michael proposes to Holly and the sprinklers go off because he lights every candle in the, in the universe to propose to her. And we all had to get wet. That was really fun to shoot um, and sad and sweet. Like I was totally for all the love story stuff, you guys. I'm totally mushy. So when Jim and Pam got together, I was like, thank God. So every time we read every script every week at the table read, I'd be like tortured when things were, you know, because they didn't work out for a long time. So it's hard to pick one, but those, yeah, that was, and I, yeah, it was, it was fun. The whole bat um, with Dwight, the bat, bat in the office with the bag over the head. That was really fun. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. How many times have you been to Scranton? I mean, we were talking to Craig Robinson about this and he was saying, you know, that he's, there was one time it was like a town like parade and like welcomed you with open arms. Like how many times have you, have you actually been there? Well, two with, with everybody. Um, once we did, they had Office Olympics in 2007, I think. And um, that was so awesome. So we basically, oh, I mean, it wasn't just Office Olympics. It was an office convention, basically, that they that they threw with NBC. So it was, it was but it wasn't the whole cast. I don't think the top five were there. I think it was just um, uh, the rest of us. But um, that was really fun. And then when this show ended in 2013, we did a wrap party and a parade. And um, there, you know, there wasn't a lot of security. I'm tell, I gotta tell you, I was like, wow, there was so little security. I think I'm pregnant, so bad. But I was like, <laughs> there's so many people that came up against us. I was like, what is happening? It was nuts, but it was really fun. And then I've been to, I actually was in the um, St. Patrick's Day Parade uh, four years ago. And that was really, really fun. Except everybody oh, got man. mad at me because uh, they couldn't find a back place for me to go to the bathroom. So I had to cut the line at a restaurant at Cooper's and the women in that, in that line the ladies room line, they wanted me dead. <laughs> oh, they didn't even recognize you. They did, but they were pissed because they were waiting to go to the bathroom. Oh, I pee myself. Like, I just let you go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Oh my God. That's so my wife funny. has no idea what the context of this conversation is. She's looking over at me like, what? You pee yourself? <laughs> my five-year-old daughter's like, see, I told you. <laughs> That's so funny. I was just saying, I also have a friend from high school that, um, that, that lives in Scranton now. And I, I went to, I mean, I, I remember partying at Scranton in high school at the university because a lot, because I went to Catholic school in, outside of Philadelphia at, in, um, at Archbishop Carroll in Radnor. And so uh, there were, there's the, the universities there is Catholic. So there was a lot of like cross, you know, so I knew people there early. So I'd, I'd been to Scranton before. I don't recommend underage drinking, you guys. I really don't. <laughs> different time back then, different time. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Um, so next we have Joseph. Joseph Lamana, are you there? I am. How are you? Hey, Joseph. How are you? First of all, I just want to say my best friend and I are huge fans. We watch The Office like constantly. We literally just go over to each other's houses to watch The Office. Fantastic. Uh, so she's watching the Facebook Live. So um, my question for you is, um, who is your favorite boss to work under? Andy, Michael, Dwight in a little bit, Creed when he was in there for a little bit? Uh, I'm going to say, um, I mean, of course, Michael, but second choice is I, Charles Minor. Uh, I just, cause I really liked Idris. He's a really great guy, even though I don't think he was a great fit to Dunder Mifflin. Um, and then Will Farrell was so much fun to work with as Diego. Um, but yeah, it's, it's so hard. I mean, Kathy Bates is awesome. You know, James Spader, don't make me pick, but yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> many great so bosses. Much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, next we have Molly Sanderson. Go ahead and ask your question. 
Hi. So um, our question was, do you remember working with Patricia and Neil and how was it? Like, he's such a great oh, I do. Yeah. I, oh, my God. It's so funny. Well, hey, Molly. Which one's Molly? You're both Molly? Uh, okay. He's Molly. I'm Molly. Are you Hi, on Brian. Molly? <laughs> hey, Brian. Don't be on Molly. Sorry. That's my, don't do drugs, um, you guys. I do remember Patrice O'Neill. What's interesting is that I have a comedy act uh, called The Lampshades, we're like a dying lounge act. So I had done shows with Patrice in the past, like stand-up shows, um, group stand-up shows, obviously, um, that I hosted. And he was, you know, I mean, I knew Craig Robinson knew him because Craig also did some stand-up stuff too. And um, yeah, I, I, that was so such a bummer. I mean, I thought he was such a good addition to the warehouse and it was just a bummer that, um, that he died so young, you know? But yeah, that's, uh, I, are you guys, did you, are you, do you know his stand-up? Oh yeah, I know his stand-up. He's one of my favorite comedians, him and Bill Burr, are hilarious. Brian, you and Molly have great taste. Yeah, Seriously. Like, we had Bill Burr are. on, we had oh, Bill Burr on last week. Oh, oh no, we good. missed Bill Burr. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Kate, so what we'll do is we have a whole list of people for this week. We will show it to you before you leave. And if you want to be on any of those Zoom calls, you are more than welcome to join. <laughs> I was supposed to work with Bill Burr last month, but it got canceled because 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 of the you know the insanity. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my Love it. I'm on. I'm on call. Put me on call. <laughs> um, Allison Weissman, go ahead and ask your question. We got tons of questions rolling in now, so get ready. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um. So I was wondering, what's your life like outside of filming and outside of the office and things that go along with that? Um, I'm, well, I, I can't speak for the last six weeks because it's a whole other planet, but I'm usually traveling a lot. Um, I do, um, I've done, like, just in the last year and a half, uh, we've done a bunch of, uh, a few people from the office have done a bunch of Comic Cons. We've, like, seen a lot of fans. I also tour with Jane Lynch a couple times a year. We usually do a big Christmas tour. And last year we were at the Carlisle in New York. We were there for a few weeks uh, and we were, we were supposed to do some out of town shows this spring, but they've gotten postponed. We're supposed to be in Alaska in September. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I, and then I, you know, I'm, I'm, I, there's like, I sometimes improvise. I, I sometimes still do my comedy act the lampshades. So usually I'm like super busy. And then my boyfriend lives in Redondo beach. So I spend some time down there. Uh, I'm usually not laying out on the beach, but I'm usually on a bike or, or, you know, walking, you know, but yeah, I mean, and then I try to get to Philly as much as I can uh, to see my family and um, in the summer, Ocean City, New Jersey, whenever I can. Um, but, you know, I, I feel like I'm in touch pretty much a, I mean, a lot with a lot of people in the office on a regular basis, which is really nice because we, we, we were together for nine years. So we're like a family. Thank you. <laughs> so much. I'm not shooting up and being drunk all the time, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> so Kate, real quick, if people want to follow you like on social media, they yeah. want to see what you're currently doing, like what are some of your social media handles so they can continue to follow you? Yeah, on Instagram, yeah. I'm at the real Kate Flannery. On Twitter, I'm at Kate Flannery. Facebook, Kate Flannery. And I'm, I'm actually on Cameo too. There's a few of us from okay. the Cameo. So if you guys want to do a video for somebody, you know, I know you can't go out, so it's so lame. <laughs> oh, we're stuck. Oh, I was already following you. There you go. Oh, good. <laughs> nice. Awesome. So next we have, I really, tell me, correct me if I'm mispronouncing your name, but Anam, go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, it's Anam. Okay, Anam. Yeah. Awesome. Go ahead. Um, so I am Anam's sister, Arisha. <laughs> I just said, thank you for introducing yourself. <laughs> Arisha. Thank you, Anam. Hey, thanks for meeting with us, by the way. This is really fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, so if you could play any other character on The Office besides Meredith, of course, um, who would it be and why? Um, God, that's such a great question. Uh, wow. Um, hmm. I'm going to, hmm, oh my gosh. It's funny because I had first auditioned for the part of Jan and obviously they went a completely different way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I don't know, maybe... I don't know. Um, maybe Aaron. Wouldn't that be weird? I don't know. I just gotta shake it up. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's tough because I feel I can't imagine being anybody, um, anybody but who I was. Creed would be fun, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I don't think I could do Dwight. And I think yeah. <laughs> how about Pam? That would be weird. Oh my god, that'd be so weird. <laughs> you were a great question. You. Oh my gosh, I really have to open up my head for that. 
Um, you are a challenging person. Uh, you guys are awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You're great, Mary. <laughs> so Kate, what do you say to people who say, because I have people say this to me all the time, I've never seen The Office. Is it funny? I mean, there are people that just, those people exist. So like, what do, you say, what do you say to those individuals? Get out of the rock that you've crawled under. We're <laughs> everywhere. It's kind of true though. You know, I feel like mm -hmm. it, has, it doesn't happen that often anymore because I feel like everyone at least knows about it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's not my job to sell you on the office. You know, it's, you know, sometimes people will say, I'm sorry, I don't watch TV, which I always feel like, okay, well, then you don't need to be sorry. It's fine. You know, <laughs> awkward, awkward. Now you want me to, I, I don't know, absolve you <laughs> of your sins because you don't know the office. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. It's all good. Oh my talk about something else. We don't have to talk about what you don't know. That's okay. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Um, Maddie Justice, go ahead and ask your question. Hi, how are you? Hey, good, how about you? <laughs> I'm good. Um, huge Dancing on the Stars fan. Oh, and I was so happy to see you on it because I love female comedians on Dancing on the Stars. I think they're awesome. I definitely think you should have gone farther. My best friend and I were using all our votes for you, but what was your favorite memory? Um, oh my gosh, there were so many. Um, I think... Disneyland was really fun when we got to shoot at Disneyland. That was a blast. Um, but I think just uh, kind of cracking the and maybe when, uh, you know, I'm going to say the do, dancing the Viennese waltz. That was really, really fun. And I'm going to show you a picture. Yes, picture Pasha. Can you see this? <laughs> okay. um, yeah, that was fun. And then also I met the Property Brothers because they came to the show because one of the Property Brothers had been on before, <laughs> which was nuts. And one of the property brothers dates Zoe Deschanel and she was there and I had done an episode of New Girl. So they were like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> a weird show basically thing that doesn't happen. But I also think just like uh, realizing that I wasn't going to be a one and done on the show that I actually was going to continue for a while because I didn't know. I didn't know if I could do it. I mean, I'm, you know, I hadn't danced since college, really. And so it was a really interesting challenge. And Pasha was just the best teacher ever, 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 ever. His choreography was amazing for it being yeah. his first season. And you did great. You were amazing. So thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was doing the tour, but unfortunately we got cut short, but that was really, really fun. Just an amazing, I, the fans are incredible as are the office fans. So I, I feel like I, I got, I got really lucky. Yeah. Thank you so much. I thank appreciate you. it. Here's this one. Awesome. So we're going to go to Jill Creighton next. There are a couple of questions that have kind of already been answered. So I'm going to skip around a little bit. So okay. Jill, go ahead. Hi, nice to meet you, Kate. Uh, I am a huge fan of The Office. We just did like our 18 million three watch of the full show and I'm <laughs> binging The Office Ladies podcast right now. So hope you get on. Uh, but I'm wondering, in, in the finale or the second to last episode, Meredith Palmer says that she was working on her PhD in educational psychology for seven years of the documentary. So I'm wondering, uh, did Meredith finish her PhD? And if so, what is she doing now? Uh, I think she did finish her, P her PhD, but I think that um, teachers get paid so lousy that she's still a Dunder Mifflin. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think COVID is helping people understand that teachers need to be paid more. Yes, they do, for sure. I love your, your Westchester background. My sister is a graduate, class of 87, uh, the School of Social Work. and. Um, you know, I, I visited the campus many times. You guys keep up the good work. And, uh, you know, I, if you're a senior, I'm sorry. It sucks to have to have a virtual graduation. But also, you're not in the hot sun. You're not, you know, having to, to split your time with your family and your friends, which is always the hardest thing about graduation. But, you know. I'm not a senior, but I'm finishing my doctorate on Friday. You are. Congratulations. So, That's amazing. Congrats. Yes. That's amazing. What are you getting your doctorate in? Public administration. Oh, fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Well, I just wish you all the best. And I, I don't have a tassel, but na, 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 na. Na, na, na. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Here's a Dundee. Hey. <laughs> hey, there you go. I love that. Oh my gosh. I think my, both my undergrad and graduate graduations were two of like the hottest possible days they could possibly oh, be. And I got the worst sunburn of my life, like at my graduation. So it's fine. <laughs> um, I, went to, I went to a school called Slippery Rock University. Of it's a course, real, I've actually it's, played Slippery Rock. I've, I've played there. Yes. I've done shows there. That's so it's, funny. It's a real place. Some people are like, what? <laughs> we were a doctor. We were a Jeopardy question. So we were good. <laughs> Hey, what happens in Slippery Rock stays in Slippery Rock, right? 
because nobody. Well, I, I wish that happened for most people. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, We've got Jillian Boyle next. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Ask your question. Hi, love you. Love you. Hi. Your boob is out. Your boob is out. Your okay. Is out. Um, um, okay. <laughs> are, they, are they observing social distancing over there? There's a lot of people. Okay. Okay. You guys okay. Like, okay. Good. Geno's, and have you watched The Office the whole way through? What was your first question? It cut out. Pat's or Geno's? Pat's or Geno's? Jim's. Sorry. I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> I agree to disagree. Yes. And then, and then what was the second question? Have you watched The Office the whole way through? Uh, you know what? I, I haven't. I mean, I watched them originally, but I've not done appointment. I just watched when I catch it on, usually like on Comedy Central, I don't usually, I'm not that self-centered. I'm like, I'm gonna watch myself. Watch myself. <laughs> but, but I really should because it, it's such great writing and I love that the, the, um, the office ladies podcast is going through one at a time and kind of like, you know, reliving all the moments. Cause it's, you know, it's, it's, there's, I think it really holds up and it's, you know, some people do a show and they never watch it again. So like, eh, but I don't feel that way. I just haven't made the time to do it, but I will now that you, I will, I will. Yeah. <laughs> is it weird like hearing yourself and seeing yourself on TV? Uh, a little bit, but I felt very taken care of on that show. I didn't feel like it was about me. You know, I mean, I feel like the lovely thing about, um, the office producers and stuff is like sometimes when a show's on the air for a long time a character will kind of morph and start talking more and may maybe be less funny maybe more they talk you know they're more expositional they're more part of the plot line and i kind of love the fact that meredith was still playing that weird chess game of just kind of being on the outside and every once in a while being inside but just kind of being like this funny you know physical still the physical comedy i i, I was really proud of that can we go to poor richards <laughs> oh you did <laughs> oh, Kelly. <laughs> thank you, Kelly. I know people don't even know that. You guys, thank you so much, really. I hope you're hanging in there, really. Have you ever been to D'Alessandro's in Germantown? I have. That is delicious. And they yes. don't they still don't accept credit cards, so they can keep all the prices on their cheesesteaks. Isn't Love. that great? I thought it was considered Roxborough, but I guess it is Germantown. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like um, when the meat touches your tongue, it like dissolves. I <laughs> love D'Alessandro. So shout yeah. out to the owners. I, have to say, I don't think I've ever, I think I've eaten from there. I don't know. If, I think I've been in the car, but I don't know if I've been in the building. You know what I'm saying? I think I, somebody else picked it up. When I was in the car. <laughs> yeah, no, that is great. You're right. Awesome. Yeah. So next week. That's, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You can't go wrong, really. <laughs> Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I was about to say, Leah, yes, you can, you can go, go wrong. wrong. You can go wrong. Okay, sure. but with the ones you just named. Yeah, none of those. Yeah, none no, of those. yeah. Oh, you not can't with go the ones you the, named. No, right. absolutely right. not. You ever have a cheesesteak oh, from Chinatown? Do it wrong. Yeah, you ever have a cheesesteak from Chinatown? No, I don't know why. Yeah. yeah <laughs> can't go wrong. Right. We'll talk, we'll talk okay, after Okay, fair, fair, fair. Um, so, Catherine, go ahead and ask your question. Hi. Um, I had two little tiny questions, I guess. Um, I guess, what are the chances of an office reunion happening? Uh, then what was your favorite memory from filming? Um, I don't know if there's going to be a reunion. I'm, to I'm not the one holding it up. If, there, if, it, <laughs> if it's held up, it's not because of me, because I'm totally pro reboot of any kind, because I love what they did with Parks and Rec. I thought that was so awesome uh, this week. Um, there's, it's hard to pick one moment of filming, but um, one of my favorite uh, episodes was, um, um, I feel like, um, oh my gosh, it's so hard to, uh, I actually had fun during lice. That was really fun. That, that crazy bald cap <laughs> was nuts. And then I kind of loved getting to wear wigs. I love the whole thing with um, uh, the, the storyline of Meredith going to the um, royal wedding <laughs> where she lied and said she went to her sister's funeral, but she, instead she went to, the royal wedding it's crazy the people's princess anyway <laughs> Kate, thank you uh, we're, saying, so uh, we're, we're actually streaming on facebook so there are people that are watching it and we have a guy on here his name is luke strong he says hey westchester thanks for doing this luke from res life um from warren wilson college so people are watching from there too nice. his question is since you didn't get to play when ryan started the fire what five items would you bring to the desert island um well, I think we talked about, I, I talk, my character did talk about a uh, ghost, um, the movie Ghost. Um, I thought that was one of the choices, one of the movies, but yeah. Um, 
probably um, uh, five things. Jack Daniels, Absolute, Jose Cuervo, Budweiser, and um, Jim Beam, five friends. <laughs> Those Love are this stupid joke, sorry, thanks. <laughs> um, so we had a second um, Catherine asking a question. I think you're both talking at the same time. So other Catherine, go for it. Okay, Catherine, Catherine D, go for it. Hi, I'm Catherine. Um, my question was, so Meredith was a really crazy character. Were there any ideas that got pitched to you that like you didn't do because they were maybe a little too far? Um, obviously not because <laughs> it was topless. I, well, I showed some skin five, di five different times. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, usually got sprung on me at the last minute, which is definitely the way to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like Casual Friday was one of the, but it was just like the best written. So yeah, it was, I was like, I know I'm in good hands. So what, how can yeah. I say, no? you know? So yeah, no, no, not really. No. I mean, the only <laughs> thing is they, they literally asked me to really shape my head and I said, no. Yeah. I asked if there was another option and they did have like the best bald cap guy in the, in the world. So yeah. <laughs> Why didn't they start with that suggestion? <laughs> I know. Right. Well, they thought it'd be, they thought they weren't going to get the joke of me. Uh, you know, there's like a shot where I look, kind of look like Benjamin Franklin. Cause I cut, and they were afraid they weren't going to get that shot. And the guy figured out how to do that without really shaving my head. So mission accomplished. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're so sweet. So I think we're going to have time for just a couple more. So um, I think Nick Anderson, I think you were next. Hi, how are you? Hey, good. How are you doing? I'm nice good. Nice Thank shirt. you. I also have a, uh, what's called Pam and Jim mug too. I was drinking Hi. out a little bit. Nice. Uh, okay. My quick question was just, uh, do you still have the cast that Jim signed when you were hit by the car? I think <laughs> but true, I do. Okay. I don't have it in my living room. I should really have it out. It's in the closet, but maybe I'll put it in like a Lucite case. <laughs> That's got John's signature. And yes, the first take, he literally signed John Krasinski instead of Jim. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a great question. We made like five or six of those because I, I had to do like a, so literally there was one day where I literally said Meredith get, gets plastered, literally, because I had, to, they had to do the plaster Paris for the case, for the, for the, for the, you know, for the, the cast. Yeah. Crazy. Bizarre. My life is weird. You guys are awesome. Thanks for asking. <laughs> That's so funny. I think this kind of segues into Emily's question. So Emily Lyons, go ahead and ask your question. Um, yeah, it kind of does connect, but do you have a favorite piece of memorabilia from filming? Um, I have, uh, I have the cast, but I also have Meredith's purse. I don't know if you guys remember, but I always, Meredith always wore her, uh, almost like a crossing guard. She always had her purse like over her shoulder, like even during the fire drill, I think she had her purse, like it was always, she always grabbed it. And for some reason I saved all of the flyers from, cause we had the best prop department ever. So, um, like I have, um, the program from Jim and Pam's wedding. I have the program from um, Sweeney Todd when we went to that. There's like a number of things. I think Cece's Christian, christening. Um, I, I have the flyers like all still in that purse. So I think that's kind of cool because it's it kind of like still lives in that reality. Kind of feels like the little teapot with the little presents inside. It's like the purse with the little memories inside. <laughs> We got Amy on Facebook saying, oh my gosh, that's Meredith. She didn't say <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. Yay, so I think we have time for these last two questions that we have. Um, so Mallory Mathias, I think you're next. So go ahead and ask your question. Hi, huge fan. Loved you on The Office and loved you on Dancing with the Stars. Thank you so much. Um, so my question is, what is your favorite, like, office episode? office episode that's like Meredith focused like the one where Michael hit you with his car or like when you when Meredith got really drunk at the Christmas party um like any of those like which one was your favorite to film um Kat, well uh fun run was really fun because I actually got to do my own stunt I like rolled on the glass and rolled off the car which was really fun um I kind of like doing my own stunts it was it was fun um but I, Moroccan Christmas was particularly memorable because we there were so many scenes and it just got so wrong so fast. Yeah, that's um, like in my top five. That episode is so fun. I watch it like over like on Christmas every year. It's so fun. Merry Christmas. It's so fun. <laughs> but I love that you watch it. 
Yeah. I mean, I have to tell you, no one was more grateful to be on that show than me. I mean, I feel like I, even when I wasn't talking, I got to witness like the best comedy ever on a regular basis, you know? So mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like, um, it's, it's hard to pick. It's really hard to pick. It's like a champagne problem. I have you guys yeah. <laughs> Don't make me pick. But a great thank, question. You. thank you so much. Thank Take you so much. Thank you. You guys hang in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Jessica Lund, go ahead. Hey, you there? You here? Jessica? Jessica. Maybe. Is she still here? Can I look for her? Jessica. Wait, she's here. Oh, I'm unmuting you. Go ahead. Can you talk now? Oh, we were we were the system. We were blocking her. I was just gonna say, I think she's here. I'm here, right here. Yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> Hi. So I just want to say thank you again for doing this. This is awesome. Uh, I'm a big fan, but my brother is 17. He's on the phone right now. Oh, nice, awesome. His name's What's Josh. Your name? Josh. Josh. What's up, Josh? What's up? <laughs> say hey. <Hello. laughs> Up. He's an even bigger fan, crazy fan, and he wanted me to ask you, how did it feel to be on the show from the beginning all the way till the end? Um, it was amazing uh, because I felt like we we were like a family, but also like we, we worked with the best directors, the best writers. We had a lot of movie directors come and work with us. We had J.J. Abrams and John Favreau and Harold Ramis uh, from, Go you know, from Ghostbusters, like cra crazy. Um, uh, it was just, you know, it was the greatest gig ever. And I, I, as much as I'm still having fun and still getting to, to work with a lot of different people now, um, I feel like that's, it's going to be really hard to top that. <laughs> so Our last... your Dundee, virtual Dundee for me, right? Okay. <laughs> Our last question is from Julia. Julia, be very quick. Go ahead. Hi. Um, I just wanted to know what was your favorite Meredith quote? Um, Probably um, talk classy, act nasty. <laughs> this is the worst advice ever. The worst. <laughs> Everybody, this is Kate Flannery. She spent some time with us today. Kate, thank you so much for spending this awesome time with us. Yes, sir. Again, this program is brought to you by Residence Life and Housing Services. So, Kate, what we've been doing to e every one of our speakers before they leave is we allow them to give us the final word. So, maybe you have a key to life or something you want to leave with the students or final phrases from Kate. Whatever you want to say, it is on you. Three, okay. two, one, go. Just want to say, don't ever worry about the jobs you don't get. They lead you to the jobs you're supposed to get. And really, it's like, if I knew that young when I was younger, I could have saved myself a lot of trouble. It's a hard concept sometimes because you still get disappointed. But I do feel like we're all being looked after in a great way. And sometimes you just got to take a deep breath and trust. Trust in the things you can't see. Absolutely. Absolutely. Kate Flannery, everybody. Kate, so this is the part where I think you'd be interested in. So let me know if you want to come to any of these for anybody who is still watching. We just had Kate Flannery today. Tomorrow we have Trav Q at two. He's an internet sensation. He plays jokes on celebrities. We got Jay Harris from ESPN. We got Elijah Connor. He is the iconic uh, Diddy stare down emoji, but he sings. So he's going to come and hit us with some tunes. Vince Papale, Eagles legend. Brian Dawkins is with us tomorrow. We have Jordan from Grownish, Walter Emanuel Jones. He was the first Black Power Ranger. Uh, we got Francia uh, from American Teenager, as well as Grownish, and Mark, K, Mark Q. Richardson from Dear White People. So we ask that you all join us, and we will all see you then. Thank you so much, everybody. Kate, if you stay on, we'll uh, thank you in person. <laughs>